Okay, good morning. It's 7.20 a.m. right now. A little bit later than uh, what the plan said. It's 7.30 right now. Uh, but I've got my tea and I'm ready to start working. So we're going to be working from 7.30 a.m. until 9 a.m. So that's going to be a timer for one hour and 22 minutes if my math is not failing me. Alright, it's 9 a.m. and uh, it's time to make my breakfast shake. Alright, so it's 9.09 a.m. right now. So that literally took eight minutes to do. Um, not that long. I need to start prepping this in the evening though, so that I just wake up and then I can work until nine and I can just grab it out of the fridge. But eight minutes to make a breakfast isn't too bad. All right, let's continue. So what I'm working on right now, what I'm struggling with is like I don't know and understand the block pattern that well. So I need to learn that a little bit better. But that is one of those things that's kind of that I'm struggling with right now and I need to get better at it. Fuck yes, finally, oh my god. Ugh. Now we can add something, so we can add, let's say, my new project, and you can't really see this because I haven't designed this in any sort of way, this is just a basic, the most basic thing that I can create so that I can actually test uh, the feature. And now we can stop the time, and then we should have a new time entry here called my new project which is down here, and it's 11 seconds, and it's my new project. And that finally works. <sighs> it's taken so long to get that to work. Finally feel like I'm using some sort of architectural structure for my app that is robust and makes sense, and that will work, and that's scalable um, in a way that I haven't ever done before. So. Yeah, I feel like we're building something that's actually going to be good. Thing I want to point out is how how you approach people or how All right, so it's now 2 p.m. <laughs> exactly, and uh, I'm now heading to the boat. I was hoping to basically be done with the boat by now. All right, so there's my boat. Uh, so it seems like the wind has uh, done 
done something to, to what I set up a couple months ago. And I don't have a ladder. All right, so this is what it looks like underneath. And as you can see, there's this structure here that's basically fallen down. And we have it here. Out here, it's basically just collapsed. I'm going to actually just leave it like this because I don't know, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's worth the effort right now. There's just maybe about half a month or so before I have to start fixing stuff and cleaning stuff up for the actual launch of the boat. Plus this keeps happening because the hat gets stuck on this thing. So it's super frustrating. And uh, I just can't be bothered doing that on my own. I have to have some help if I want to fix this. All right, uh, we're not too far off the plan. Uh, it's 3.30 p.m. right now. And I'm absolutely exhausted right now. And I just, all I want to go, do is go home. All I want to do really is eat sugar, just eat something sweet. But I know I shouldn't do that. And I need to kind of get a little bit better at restricting myself from those things. So. I'm gonna try my best not to, but I'm also gonna go food shopping now whilst being very hungry, uh, which isn't ideal. All right, the camera's died and I've just finished shopping and I'm home, but now it's raining. I'm completely just dead tired. And I feel like I'm gonna have to go take two trips from the car to the apartment, which I don't want to do. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that in one trip. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I'm not gonna go to the gym today. I need to still clean the entire apartment and I need to bake some bread for this weekend. And I'm probably going to go to bed at like 9, and it's 5.35 p.m. right now. All right, so for some context, it is right now 11.06 p.m., and I'm still cleaning and making some food. But I had to just jump in to say I just made focaccia, or focaccia, I don't know how you say it, but... I've never made that before, but I just tried to make it and it turned out incredible. And I never really cook, but I mean, if you could smell this, it is an absolute masterpiece.